quite the interesting turn of events. Uh, this news is kind of, I don't know, the twists and turns of this story, the the developments over the last couple of years with the, you know, several hacks and data breaches that have happened on the T-Mobile side. And it looks like another turn of, of the story. T-Mobile secretly bought its customer data from hackers to stop leak and it failed. All right. So this story is actually from vice.com. If you guys want to check it out yourself, uh, the story goes as follows. After hackers targeted T-Mobile back in August of 2021, T-Mobile hired a third-party firm that went undercover and bought back the customer data. All right, so we got a few details here that I want to share with you guys. Uh, So if you've followed the channel for a while, you know exactly what happened. There was a huge data breach and customers' social security numbers, date of birth, all that private information was completely exposed by the breach. The hackers were kind of auctioning off bits and pieces or collections of the data for X amount of dollars. I think they wanted Bitcoin and stuff like that. All right. So in the process, I think what T-Mobile did, and and this is not unusual when these things happen with big companies, they hired a third party firm to kind of investigate. Sometimes those firms actually will go in and actually try to hack the hackers to see what was what what they actually acquired and took in the breach or they'll go in there and try to take the data back or they'll try to make deals with the hackers to get the to to return the data uh and, and then they're they become the owners of it right so like i don't know i apparently that's like customary for these types of issues with these companies but it looks like it completely backfired the third party that did the purchase back for the t-mobile customer data uh, they they tried to make a deal that, hey, you know, sell it all to us. We'll pay you the money and then, you know, delete whatever you have. And I guess they had that agreement. But then the com- uh, the hackers actually ended up uh, not following through on that word and still selling the cons- the customer data on the black web or the dark web, whatever, and, and doing whatever with it. So they didn't follow up on their end of the bargain. So it looks like T-Mobile's out on money. It looks like the company that tried to do this for T-Mobile, they're out of the money too. Um, the the hackers, you know, they ended up selling the data out there anyways. Um, the, the one thing I will say though is, okay, so this is a legitimate website, vice.com reports on these types of things. I'm not questioning their credibility, but I did wait in, in hopes of getting a second or a third source to this. Uh, T-Mobile was unwilling or refused or just hasn't replied to the story so i can't confirm or you know with confidence say that this has been confirmed by multiple sources i i honestly can't i waited uh the story has been out for i think the better part of the last 10 hours or 14 hours so honestly i i don't know take it as you will uh this this does seem pretty customary for things that happen like this so it's not out of the realm of possibility in fact it's very probable that this is how things played out, but that that, that, this is crazy. I really do hope that they have improved their security measures, you know, people getting access to their servers and consumer information. It's, it's been really bad there. They essentially have like one or two hacks a year, it seems like, and it's always bad news to report affecting the customers. Uh, What do you guys think of these developments? What do you think of uh, T-Mobile's approach to try to fix this? Uh, You how bad is the backfire? Uh, man, awful, really bad. Comment down below. You are the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more, and turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter and email and my Patreon page. Support us there and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. Thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting. We'll see you all on the next video. Peace.